Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSTs. For today, we are looking at the Synthax. I'm going to give this one the perfect rating of a 5 out of 5. This is like a Rompler synth style plugin. We have different basses, bells, plucks, and vox, and some airy elements as well. Now, one thing I want to say or ask as a quick side note before I get more into the plugin is this. For all my dedicated subscribers, I've done some videos recently where I review free VST plugins where I don't talk. And just me playing like that, and you don't hear me talking. In addition, I do videos like this where I am talking. What I've noticed is I get more views on the videos where I don't talk, but people watch the video a lot less, like in terms of the audience retention. For videos that I do talk, I've noticed that I get less views, but people watch the videos longer. So tell me what style you like better, me not talking or talking. But anyway, let's get right into the plugin. So, right, so we have, again, a bunch of different presets, and like I typically do, I will be making a song with this one. We also have some macro settings here, but being honest, the, the bulk of this plugin, which makes it great, is all these different presets. So this way I like about this one is I like kind of the put this here to start. Just throw this on. So you could have kind of like in the background, you know. And then let's copy this. And what's good about this plugin, just to show you, is of course. All these different elements we have. Some of them, of course, a little bit better than others. Like this one, not gonna lie. Bit Casio keyboardish to me. This one has that kind of like almost Drezzo dark house style feel like where I could put like a what's that like 128 um mm, and let's add in some some drums uh no I gotta go to loops and then let's do like I'm just putting full loop for now I like that snare, actually. Ah, uh, no. But now, wait. Yeah, there we go. So it's almost like a... Starting off as like a dark... Like, Drezzo house style sound. And then... Uh, let's do like... Let's see if we, that's what we need. And then we need something there. So let's duplicate this. Delete this. Jump back into the plugin. And then I sort of more stuff. Oh. Uh go on the on the wrong one. So this will be good for like a future house song. So some of these presets I have heard, some of them I haven't, so. Like, that would be a cool one, but I think it, I may have to resample it. Because it seems like the higher the pitch, that second hit is faster. Or almost non-existent. Like, then, and Right, so you can see it takes a second longer when it's doing that. So this I might do... Uh, mm, yeah, okay, so we're definitely going to have to do that. Um, let's duplicate this. Freeze it, flatten it. Um, so put this here, and then um, let's bring this here. Actually, let me know as well if you like this whole thing of me making a track with the song. I think most people said they do like it because I feel like it makes it more realistic to show you like, okay, a plugin can be good when I test it out. 
and like mess around with it. But actually using it in a song, I feel like I start to really appreciate what I can do with it. You know, like in a situation like this. Oops. Be cool to actually now add in like a, a uh, like, let me try if I do like something. Oop. Also too, I usually don't produce with the trackpad. No, six is better. Yeah, it's more subtle that way. Okay. Wait, uh... Ooh, I don't know if I actually like the happening on the one. Wait. Or where it's just kind of quick, you know? You know what? I think I like it when it's quicker. So let's do... Actually, I'm going to bring this here. No, no. I think it has to be on the... Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, way better. Yeah. All right, there it is. Jump back to the plugin now. Maybe add in some, a uh, few more elements. So we're at, I mean, we've only scratched the surface when it comes to all these different presets. Seinfeld sound. That would be really good for any kind of like acid techno. Oh. Ooh, okay. Alright. Definitely adding some bells. I like that. Hmm, okay, so I think what I want to do is maybe add in something like here. I don't know what to. No. Uh, maybe do it out here. There's something about like the. Kind of cool. Now this is at 128, so it's like a dark house song. I wonder if I'd be better at 140. Just like see what I'm just gonna see what it sounds like at 140. Eh. Actually, kind of works. And then this is at slowed. Nah, now if you're hearing a 140, I might do like 135 actually. Yeah, because I kind of like the kind of a bit slow and like, uh, I don't know what, I was going to say the word deliberate, but I, I guess that's a great word where I'm like deliberately being like, I don't want it to be super like fast paced, you know? Um, all right, let's go back to, is it plugin? I'm going to go through the bells again, just because obviously I could spend a long time making a song like this. Maybe we'll add in one pluck and add in one vox. So we'll go through all the presets to show you. There's a lot of different opportunities for this one. Like I just did um, a review of the Spitfire Audio Labs Christmas plugin. I feel like a lot of these bells, I mean, not that one, could be used for a Christmas. Like, like that. Right. I feel like that sounds like that, the, uh, what is that? I don't even know what it's the Harry Potter theme song. Yeah. Oh, that that that's actually a cool idea. Um so I might have like thing. Um I almost wanna do like um 
Okay, so this is kind of a cool technique I use sometimes. Um, is you create something like this. Wait, where am I right now? Okay, I'm there. And I'm gonna just drag this, all three of these, all right? Um, so it's not like this. Nope, not like that, like this. That might work. And then throw in an arpeggiator. Right, and then what I can do, which is kind of cool, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna extend this out. And it's gonna go pretty much for infinity. And now I can adjust, like, what do I want? Do I want it to be like this? I, I kind of want it to be a bit dark. And let me see if I want to adjust. Nah. No, I like it going up. I can even add now, maybe an F sharp at the C might be a, almost sound like a bit dissonant. Oh yeah, yeah. So, actually, sounds like a little bit like a Zelda dungeon song. Mm -mm. Um, yeah. I'm gonna keep this, I think. I wanna see. And then maybe add like a filter and they're like, also I'm just doing one bar, one section right now. But then what I'm gonna do then is add in like filter to have this kind of come in. All right, and then, I've done this before. We're like, I'll do something like this. Actually, I mean, I'm just doing one bar, so I guess in this case, I'd probably do something like that. But typically, I think I'd almost just curve it in like this, because I would be preparing for another section. But since we're doing just one bar. And then slowly fades out. Right? Actually, I kind of want this to kind of stay in. So it's going to like start where you can't hear it. Right, have it come in. And then, that way it's still subtly there, that way I can have it go in waves, but it still starts lower. And then when it gets to a certain point, I get a little wavy, duplicate this, delete this. And then, actually, yeah, okay. So we got this going now. Um, Kind of nice. And then just make sure we're on the right one. Oh, wait, are these? Oh, the I was like, why are they like, doing that? Forgot the arpeggio was still on. <laughs> Ooh, that low end. Okay. And that'd be good for like a video game. Like, I think for like an AU5 type song, you know, like that color, uh, color base or whatever, you know? Actually, just that would be kind of cool, but I'd have to process it the right way. Um, where to, so it'd almost be on each bar, right? Um, I hate when I go to like duplicate and then it does like a little off. No, 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 okay. I have to be on the ones. Yeah, like this actually sounds kind of cool, but I, I have to process it the right way. Um, okay. I want to push it back, but I'm trying to go the best way I want to do this. Um, let's go to... Okay. 
Yeah, maybe push it on the sides then, and then exteriorize it. So just the release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a little psychotic there. No, actually, yeah, it has to have a little. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. This actually seems a little off to me. I'm just gonna do this. Um, hmm. You know what's hmm. I like the idea, but maybe it's not hitting the way I want it to. You know what? I'm gonna like see if this here and then I kind of like the ah, but I feel like that could work. Was that Angel Synth? Wait, we have a few more, Alex. Yeah. Ooh, what do we try doing? Nah. Maybe. No, because I kind of want to be purposely. Ooh. That's kind of cool, but I feel like this would be cool to have it like, like that, almost sounds like that 300 Spartans type vibe. Oh, is that the last one? Okay, wait. No, what is the... Yeah, there it is. So, yeah, so this is the final song. Let's uh, pull this up so we can see it in its full glory. I don't know why I said that so aggressively, but you get the idea. Um, all right, let's see. So we're going to... So, this, of course, got everything right here. Let's play it. Um, 